What is up, YouTube? Welcome in, and I've got another build video for you guys. We're going to be checking out Leland and how to make the, uh, what I think is the most toxic Leland you could possibly do. Uh, and just also give him uh, the ability to do things that aren't just, you know, his, his typical strengths. Um, we're going to put some points into his weaknesses and make him actually good and maybe uh, get you out at a better survival rate uh, as victim. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is his special ability. So I don't have him super leveled up right now. Um, but the what you're going to do is you're going to put one into uh, increased stun duration. Put your second into increased stun duration. So that makes it so that barge family members will be stunned for 11 seconds. That's really, really good. And then you're going to want to get concussive effect. This, uh, this is really good, especially for like Bubba's. Um, because Bubba's don't get knocked down. So they can kind of like see what's going on. Uh, this will make it so it's harder to track you after you get the hit, especially like on Johnny's and stuff. So we're going to take concussive hit. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is our uh, perks. I've chosen to go with uh, fight or flight, uh, and I'll show you the skill tree after we go through all the perks. Um, because at level three, fight or flight gives you a five second longer stun on sneak attacks. Now, as Johnny, you know, I'm sorry, as uh, Leland, you know, you want to do... A ton of tackling, a ton of stabbing. Sometimes you want to do both. So having that extra five seconds is going to be really, really, really good. Um, so we want to make sure we get that. Uh, the next one I've chosen to go with is fish hooks. Now, fish hooks is an interesting one. Um, because basically what it does, it rewards you for sneak attacking family. And it decreases at level three their max stand by 70%, 75% for 30 seconds. That's huge. That means that Bubba's can't really chase you. That means that even hitchhikers have 75% less stamina to chase you after you knock them down or sneak attack them, etc., etc. And now, the Coupe de Gras, the best thing you could possibly put on Leland is Agitator. Now, you can use this on any family member, but because we're already have going to have uh, bone picks in our inventory as Leland, we want to get Agitator. You can take a grandpa from level 5 to level 1 at level 3 of Agitator. So it's super, super good. So check that out, and, you know, obviously you can use other perks. Do what honestly feels good to you, but I feel like this is the most toxic you can be as a Leland right here with these three perks. And it also gives you some versatility, too. So you can be a little a little, a little stinker, and you can, also, uh, <laughs> you can also have some fun with it and actually make some escapes. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is max out Leland's strength. He's already got 40 strength. That's amazing. You can max it out if you want, but there's really no point in going any further than that. His endurance is above average for many of the other characters in the game. So we're going to leave his endurance alone. What we want to do is touch stealth and proficiency. So I've decided to go 21 into stealth um, and then 5 into proficiency. I still need a few uh, slots on his skill tree because I can only level up so much uh, in this. But you'll get an extra 2 skill points. I would probably put those skill points into stealth. The more stealth you have, the more your little bar when you're doing actions um, will not go up as quick. And Leland's stealth is horrible. If you've ever done a, just a blank no stats in Leland, you know that his ability to get lockpicks, to get bone shards, are just it's just it's horrible. It takes forever. So get his stealth up. Also put some points into proficiency as well. I'm choosing to put the extra five in proficiency and a lot into stealth. You can split it up any way you want, but get that proficiency up a little bit. Get his stealth mainly up. You could even just say, you know what? I'm not going to do anything in proficiency. I just want to go all stealth. But I like to play Julie a lot, and her proficiency is around 30. So I try to go, or actually it's 35. So I try to go as close to that uh, goal as I can on other characters. So this is the build. This is what I think will be, uh, and I've used it a bunch of times. I'm, I'm working on leveling my Leland up. But um, this is a build that I think you guys will be able to use to a tremendous effect using sneak attacks, using tackles. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of fun. And make sure you're barging as much as possible and knocking people down. And uh, you can get us Leland. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Enjoy the build. Let me know down in the comments what your build for Leland is. Because listen, everyone's going to run him a different way. And I, and I get it. People are going to be like, well, actually, you should run this, this, and this on him. That's great. Instead of that, let's maybe see what your build in Leland is. So, this is my build. This is Toxic Leland. Try it out. And if you got a more toxic one, let me know in the comments. All right. Later, YouTube.